And Vaw's pausing, which I, which I like. Yep. Saying I might have Harness Lightning. All right, but even if he has harness in hand, I'm telling Snook, come and get it. Yeah. Because th this attack, everything so far has led up to blossoming defenses in my hand, and I want to play over the top in combat. There's a trigger. Snook thinking about discarding Transgress. I think this turn I want to block with Sigarda. Yep. Same. I th it's just card number six. You can go yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah, it's energy number six. I get to go right away. It's a creature in the graveyard for... Um, for for Kana, yeah. I think I just want to block. Also, I mean, this is this is a lot of damage to take, Yeah, too. there's also that. Huh. Well, this is the same... This is a path here, too. Yeah, this gets him to six energy, because he has to spend one, but he picks up two. From the vessel going to the graveyard, and then the servant going to the graveyard. Okay. Just curious to me... I mean, this this Sigarda is going to have to trade... It's got to do something eventually, with a, right? ...with a Blossoming Defense at some point, and I think Baugh is... I mean, the Blossoming Defense is going to be bad for him regardless. Don't get me wrong. But I think he's in a spot now where if he misses with the Marvel... It's really bad shape. Really bad news. Swamp, Traverse. Curious what Traverse finds right now. It's with Delirium. That looks good. That's good. I remember the, uh, oh no, he already got the scrounger out, so yeah. that's... But he does have the two mana up, so if Ball has some sort of sweeper or removal spell, the scrounger does come back right away. Yep. I mean, there's a lot riding on this marble activation now. Yes, there is, and he's going to activate right now. So, top six, picks to click. Emrakul's the best of the bunch. Ulamog's pretty darn good. Uh, uh, that's a, I think we're looking at a whiff. I think that one's... We're close to it. I think that one stinks. I think that one stinks. And I don't know if Ishkan is going to be good enough in the face of a virtuous Gear Hulk, plus the size that Snook already has on the battlefield. And plus a lot of his creatures having trample. And the blossoming defense that we can pretty much assume at this point is in his hand. Well, Snook doesn't have it. He's played this game beautifully. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll yeah, tell, he, he has definitely much. played a spectacular game if yeah, it is not in his hand. Yeah, if he doesn't have that, he's played a real hell of a magic game. Two energy there from the servant. Time to draw. Harness lightning. Can Ishkana stabilize? And she's certainly going to try. Now, the benefit of this is the next alpha strike here from Snook. Assuming Ba is able to survive it, you get another Aetherworks Marvel activation, most likely. A lot of his creatures are going to die here, chump blocking. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the shorthand here is you would like to get as many of your creatures to five power as you can because of the Sigarda and the Ishkana. Here he comes, Trigger. All right, it's all on the table now. Yep. There's no blossoming defense to worry about. Jacob Paul's life total is six. Got to figure it out now. Ball going to line some different things up. He can go this route. Yeah, this is the six, seven block that I alluded to before. Okay. This means that he would get to keep a little something here. He'd get to get rid of this. Yep. You like this block the best? I, th I think I prefer the initial block, but this one also looks good. This has Ball losing a lot. Yeah, but he kind of wants to make that happen because of the Aetherworks Marvel. Okay. The more that Ball can generate trades, the better served he is. And then he ends up taking on this exchange one trampled, uh, yes, one trample damage. I don't, where is he taking trample from? Mind Wreck Demon. Oh yeah, excuse me. Yeah. He'll take one trample, fall yep. down to five. Scrounger's going to die. But Snook doesn't have the mana left over to get the Scroungers back this turn, so it's at least a one-turn reprieve. Yep. And this is what the battlefield's going to look like now. Six energy here for Ball. Spin the wheel. This is kind of interesting, too, because if there's a Harness Lightning in here, like, he can finish... He can zero it off, also. He can yep. get three energy and try to re-up next turn, yep. too. There's a lot of different lines. He's going to finish off the Copter using two energy. Okay. Yeah, one of the spiders went in front. Yep. But he's still a ways away energy-wise. Yep. The Marvel's not been kind just yet for Jacob Baugh. The draw is a tune. I think a tune gets him to six. I think it does too. I think he's got a harness and a servant there, so mm -hmm. he, can, he can get another spin at this. 
I, I would think it through. <laughs> so Just, hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> there's a lot to think about. Right. Servant. Up to three. Up to six. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Here we go. All right. Top six. Six. That'll work. That'll Ooh, play. Ooh, long play. Ooh, long plays. Ooh, long plays. He hit. Yep. That'll play. That'll play. Any attacks? Huh. I'm looking to Ulamog the. I mean, you're gonna. I guess there's no. I mean, I think you're free to. Right. Yeah. There's right? no. There's no haste or whatever. I, I want to so. get this over with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Snook wants to close this darn thing out. But remember, chump blocking really isn't an option here against Ulamog. He doesn't have all that much time. Mm -hmm. So probably two turns here. We also got to remember there are scroungers hiding out in graveyards. Yep. But that's all of his mana. Yep. I mean. I mean, how much can he do over the course of a turn? All that good stuff. Now, the easiest thing here for Snook to do involves flying. Yep. You know, if there's a mine rack demon here or a smuggler's copter, flying is a great place to be. There's at least a shot here because he's only got the one spider as a chump blocker. Presumably, do blossoming defense is still a thing. Well, he's just past the turn, so now we're going to go back over to Baugh. I wonder if the plan here is hope Baugh has forgotten about the scroungers. Here comes Ulamog. 32. Okay, yep. Plenty. I love attacking with nothing else, by the way. Right. No reason to. This is the plan, like you mentioned. He's not killing this thing. Yep. And you don't even need to connect. So play it as safe as you possibly can. Ball, have any follow up? Nope. Snook. Going to get back scroungers. Going to remove a couple of creatures. Three twos back on the battlefield. Snook's got three blockers for three attackers. Is there any way for Snook to steal this thing? Uh, kill spell plus blossoming defense plus bad block. Two kill spells plus blossoming defense. Okay. Uh, I mean... It's asking a lot. Yeah. I mean, there are hands he can have here that are lethal. That's going to do it. Jacob Ball is going to win this match here over Adam Snook. Three games to two. Nia Aetherworks will take care of Black Green Aggro. Todd Anderson is still alive. <laughs>